Hey Fly Girls, it's your girl Fire Dawson with Fly Girl Etiquette. I am really excited about doing our first vlog for the page. Um, so let's just get right into it. The If you've been watching our post the past month, you'll see that we have been doing a lot of posts on how to stay looking fly and looking good in the hot sun, which means keeping your skin nice and smooth and glowing. So I figured we'll do the first vlog on how to do an at-home manicure, because that is something that you need to know now and year-round, okay? So the supplies that you will need are a nail clipper, cuticle clipper, nail file, a finer nail file, which is this little square thing here, um, nail polish, of course, cuticle cream, and an orange stick. And these come in, these also come in wood as well. So, um, and then if you need to, you need a cuticle remover like this one. And of course my favorite hand cream with sunblock. So, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is trim your nails, uh, nice and short, but not too short. Leave a little bit of nail over the nail bed. So as you see here, um, it's cut short enough where you can do a lot of work and it also stays clean. I know I love the styles that have uh, the girls have that are really, really long, but it's hard to type with that. So if you have any work related stuff that you have to do, it's always good to keep your nails nice and short. And it looks very professional. Okay, so you're going to trim it down and then also you're going to file. So when you file, don't go back and forth. It actually weakens the nail. I see a lot of vlogs and people talking about filing and they're going back and forth. That's only gonna make your nail really weak and break and split. So go in one direction and then go in an angle direction at the corners to get rid of any sharp points. Um, after that, you're gonna take this little guy and you're going to file again, just to smooth out those deeper grooves. You're also going to want to file the top of each nail as well, and that smooths out the nail, but it also leaves little tiny grooves, so when you polish your nails, it keeps the nail polish on. It helps grip it to the nail. So just run it over once or twice to smooth it out, but also keep little, little tiny fine grooves. The next thing you're, wanna, you're going to want to do is soak your nails to make the cuticles nice and soft. And that is when we get to our orange stick and our instant um, cuticle softener and remover. Soak your nails for a little bit and then rub the cuticle cream on it, which is the, the remover. Um, and then you're going to want to push the cuticles back. When you push them back, you can kind of use your finger bit to help shape it but you know the orange stick is probably best for you to use. Um, once you do that, rinse it and wash your nails clean. Your cuticles will be nice and soft, shape really well. If you have to, you can go over it with the cuticle trimmer. And you'll they these come in a few styles, um, but they, but they're always slanted at the tip because it's easier to cut around the nail. Don't cut too much off. There's no reason to. And if you don't want to cut them, don't. All you have to do is push them back and you'll eventually train them to do exactly what you want them to do. Um, so the next thing you want to do is apply your nail polish. So I tend to buy OPI because they last very long. Um, I think that they're great on the nail. So you're going to apply your base coat and then you're going to apply two coats of your color. Now I recommend using something like this, which is the clear but it, with a slight hint of pink. When you apply it to your nail, it's going to look almost clear, but you'll have a, real, a hint of pink where it makes it look really natural and clean, but it's easy for you to do, especially if you're just starting to do your, your man, manicures at home because no one's gonna see the little mistakes that you make. So try to use this, a clear, a tinted pink, to help ease you into something a little bit more like a red or a blue or a green. Okay, so I always start with this. This is great. Two coats of this one. And then lastly, you're going to do your top coat and just do one top coat. That's all you need. Let it dry for about 10 to 20 minutes. 
Once it's about dry, you can also run your nails under cold water. That also helps set your nails and lets it dry a little bit faster. And I would recommend that all the time because we always have somewhere to go after that, okay? So run it under, don't rub your nails, just let it run and take it out and you're set. Try to let it air dry again. Don't put a towel on there, <laughs> okay? And lastly, I always apply a moisturizer love my moisturizers i apply a moisturizer all the time so what i would do is i combine my hand cream with a really good spf so one of the ways that uh, we tend to age is we can see our age on our necks and on our hands and that's because we don't apply enough sunblock so what i do is i combine my hand cream with the sunblock either at the same time that I'm going to use it or I get a container all its own and mix the two and carry it in my purse. I am hooked on moisturizer. I love soft skin because it looks good and it feels good and it keeps you looking fly and young and that's exactly what we all want to do, right? So lastly, I would recommend if you get a chance, get one of these gloves. These are perfect. Wear it maybe once a week, once a month. It'll keep your hands feeling so soft, it's amazing. So before bed, apply a moisturizer and then put the gloves on. When you wake up, your nails, your hands will feel so soft, you will be amazed yourself. And it really just keeps the wrinkles away and keeps your hands looking beautiful and young. You can also use the same thing for your feet. So. Um, these are great tools. Um, if you forget what you need, there's a box that's attached that will also show you all of the supplies that you need. So I hope that helped you. Thanks a lot. Tune in again next week. We'll have a new vlog up for you. And thanks for watching Fly Girl Etiquette.